Hey everybody, this is FireGuy522 with my second tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use the satellite dish tool that's data transfer and the data store. Uh, this is going to be a remake for the old satellite tutorial, which I screwed up on really bad because I didn't even test it. I did everything in the video of like how to use it. So I was like kind of learning as I did it in the tutorial, which was pretty stupid. And really have no use for the salad dish tool, but oh well. Okay. <sighs> what we need is we're going to need two plates. Okay. One right here. And I'm going to set one over here. Now we're going to need our, we're going to need three transfers or data transfers, whichever one you want to call them. One over here, one over here, and then one up over here so you can kind of read where the satellite is. Okay, let's go ahead and get our satellite dish. Uh, your model, to set your model, you just go ahead and click on the prop you want. Uh, hit right click and then it'll copy it. So if I make like a big plate, hit uh, R, then I'll get this big thing. Okay. So let's go ahead and just move it up here so it's in the general area. Okay. Now let's go ahead and move our data transfers. This one's going to just point at the satellite dish since it's huge. We don't really need that much aiming. We're going to move this one into the satellite dishes data transfer. I'm just going to point that somewhere in the ground or something. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get our satellite tool back out. The satellite dish tool. Hit reload on the satellite and then reload on the data transfer that's by the satellite. That way it can receive data from what's hitting the satellite and then send it down to the other data transfer. And down here you might want to use another satellite so it has an easier target to hit but I'm just gonna use that little data transfer there okay let's go ahead and set up our debugger type thing let's go ahead and spawn three screens yeah we're gonna need three screens uh, text A out text B in or vice versa either or okay uh, put that and then I'm just gonna put it on the satellite because it doesn't matter Okay. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna get one button because I'm only want this one to send. And, okay. Now toggle goes to or make the button toggled. Value on whatever kind of data you want to send. I'm just gonna send 50. So I'm gonna put that. Oh, oops, wrong button. I'm gonna put that down there. Now our out. Is going to go to the button. A on the data transfer is going to go to the button. Okay. Uh, send also goes to the button. Now up here we want our out is going to go to the data transfer, the output A, and in is also going to go to that data transfer, the output A on the satellite dishes data transfer. Okay, now we don't, it's outputting zero because I haven't sent anything to it. When I push the button, that should turn to 50. Okay. And I just suck, okay. Over here we want our in is going to go to output A. So let's go ahead and just turn it on. So it sends 50 up here. It sends 50. Oh, I forgot to press the send button. There. So now it's receiving 50 from over here, even though it's right there. Now, we could just do this lazy by just pointing it over that data transfer. But like I said, this is good for a space build. 
kind of stuff. So we want to hit the satellite. Okay, now there's now we're gonna need a data store. So let's go back up to the data where it says store, and I'm just gonna place that right there. Now here's a quick problem with the data store. It has no inputs or outputs. So how do you get data to it? Now you have to send data from a data transfer to it. The problem is with how I have this set up is that this reads from the satellite and it also reads from the data store. So it's reading from two places and so we're getting this constant change in values of 50 to 0. Therefore it won't be able to write to anything. Okay, now how we're going to do this is that we need to move this over to, uh, no we don't need to move it over there, get that back down to there, so it's going to change it between 0 and 50, so now if we have send, it still does that because it's still trying to read from there. Now the way I know that we could do this is that we could get a data transfer to write to the data store. As soon as I get that. So now we can take that off the satellite and move it just to that data store and it's not putting 50. Now we can move that back up to there. And another thing that we could do, instead of sending that down to the data store, or down to the data transfer, is that we might be able to move it down to the data store. Let me move this. If this doesn't read, that's my own fault, because this worked earlier and I just remembered it. Yeah, see, it's still, no, oh, it's because the values are the same. Let me change this. I'll change that to 20. Oh, okay, well, whatever, you can't do that. So you just basically have to get a data transfer right directly to this, so you have like an output right to it, and then move the data store over to a different place. So basically, I would write. Uh, I'd write to the data store, and then move it into a different data store, and it'd read it. Uh, there, so it's got twenty. Now this system is good for a space build. I don't know what the data store could be used for. Maybe saving data, sending it down in like a spaceship or something. I don't know. But you could. Uh, let's say this is your spaceship. And that data transfer is just like kind of floating around. But you can have the satellite uh, receive like a signal down from Earth to go to the certain coordinates. And then it'll fly over there and then send data down to like a different planet or something. I don't know. It's really easy to use after you've figured out what it does and crap like that. <sighs> have fun. Oh, wait. I got to do the outro. This has been Firegraph 522 showing you how to use the satellite dish, the data transfer, and the data store. Have fun. Don't break yourself.